Isn't that that over there. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us, and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. We'll take good care of you. Where do you think he's from? Napoli?
Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody stop him! Down with you! Go! You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. Si, but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Auditore, I I didn't expect to see you again. What all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. 
Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There, it's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? A preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Uh, uh. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi.
Where do you think he's from? Napoli? That would be a...
And come again, sir. That should feel better, sir. You were gone for quite a while. Bernardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. 
It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Come forward. Well, I trust you're enjoying this. <laughs> Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the other And to think I once thought of Giovanni. Oh, I say we strike that writer's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Oh. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for it. Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalonieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here so long as I am in control. You! you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditorio not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! My love, I put these thoughts to paper in the hope that I might one day have the courage to share them with you. In time, you'll no doubt learn that I betrayed Giovanni, labeled him a traitor, and sentenced him to die. History will likely judge this to have been a matter of politics and greed. Know that it was not hate that forced my hand, but fear. When the Medici robbed us of all we own, I found myself afraid. For you, for our son, for the future. What hope in this world for a man without proper means? They offered me money, 
land and title in exchange for my collaboration. And so this is how I came to betray my closest friend. However unspeakable the act, it seemed necessary at the time. And even now, looking back, I see no other way. That's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? Hey! Try using eagle vision. I've got all day. Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh, shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't! It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I can't believe this. Hello. This is... They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Ugh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh. Oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. Like any act I've ever seen. Not a very good buffoon, is it? 